Hey, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Today I will go over how to do the Lokar secret quest line. Lokar is a celestial boss. He is the facilitator of the crucible. And if you follow all the different clues around the world, you will have to fight him as the boss in the crucible of the dead. This boss is mainly done to get yourself the full Loker set, which provides all different kinds of stats, but the most important one is the 4 set bonus that provides 40% extra experience gained. And this is obviously great for leveling up new characters. Before we start, just a quick reminder to like the video and also subscribing to the channel if you found this guide helpful. And with that said, let's begin. So, first up, this can only be done on ultimate difficulty. Next you want to go to your stash and you want to get yourself one consecrated wrapping, one black tallow and one ancient heart. And we will need these materials in just a second. Move to the first clue which is located in Gloomwald. And here just to the northeast there is a house with a cellar. Go to this house and you will find a weathered chest. Click on it and you will get your first clue. Next up follow the path that goes to the north and try to keep along the west side of the map. And here you will see a star icon on the map once you are at the right spot. Here you can destroy the wall and you want to run down through the hidden area till you find Arcturus the Cursed Smith. And here you want to craft the Heart of Darkness. Next up you want to head to Bermhold Rift. Take the path that goes north and run all the way until you get to the Chthonic Rift and enter. Once inside you want to head north to the Ashen Altar and here you will get the legendary sword Stormheart which we will need later on. Next you want to go to Devil's Crossing and you want to go to the dead Aether Giant and you will get another clue. And you will also receive an amulet called Shadina's Memento which we will need later on. Next move over to Malmoth Outskirt. And here you want to find the NPC called Flamond Blue. And he got three different locations that you can find him. And you want to kite him all the way down to the ritual circle. Which is just right next to the shrine in this area. Keep in mind that your ability do damage to him. So having dots or things on the ground might kill him. You can also try and clear some enemies before you start counting if you feel that it's going to be too hard. Once you count him down to the circle, a rift will spawn. Enter and just go to the west. Talk to the bound spirit and give him the gifts that we've been gathering. And these three items being the heart of darkness, the storm heart sword and also the amulet Shadina's memento. And this will open a ethereal portal to the sanctum of Shosan. Here you find a devotion shrine which is not required to do to continue. Directly behind the shrine is a hidden stone door. Open it and proceed to the edge of reality. About halfway in this zone you will find a hidden passage where the bloody stream is. Do keep in mind that the enemies here hit quite hard and especially the totems that's on the ground. They will shoot projectiles from them and if you are standing on one of these it might shotgun you. So yeah, just be extra careful when you are running throughout this area. Mm -hmm. 
Here you find a hidden passage. And at the end of this path you will find the root of all evil. Kill it and a ethereal portal will appear. Enter it. And here you find Lokar, the final boss of this secret questline. Lokar is probably the easiest of all celestials, but don't be fooled, he can still do a lot of damage. Most of his abilities are fire type, but he do have some lightning damage there as well. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel to show your support. I keep the video going if you are interested in checking out how the whole boss fight is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!